talk to you for a minute about file compression and the state that it's currently in in Linux. Linux is neat in the fact that when you go to install it, it has built-in file compression. Let me show you an example here. See, I just right-click on a file and I click Extract here. That's all I have to do. And I didn't have to go install WinZip or WinRare or 7-Zip. This is just automatically built in. But now take the file I just extracted. See, I right click and go to compress. And I'm going to take a look at the options here for a second. This is literally what you get for options. I'm seeing a couple options here that are very important that are missing, like compression level. This option is extremely important and should be considered basic to any type of compression. I got sick of this years ago and I started installing my own program. I went to a website called pzip. You click pzip Linux free download. It takes you to the second page. This is the one I use, Deb GTK2. They send you this file here, but I've already downloaded this, so I'm going to close this. This is all you have to do to install it. Double click it, click install package, type in your system password, you're done. Nice and fast. Now let's open this program and go back to that same folder and see what we get. I just have to navigate to it. Here we are. Okay, there's that folder I just clicked on. So I'm going to click add and see what options I get here. That looks a little better. This looks more like something I would see if I went into WinZip or WinRare or 7-Zip. This is a more comprehensive GUI. I always switch it to Ultra. I don't care how slow it is. I'll show you something cool you can do with PZip that you can't do with most archival programs. Let me just get two small files here. I'll take these two. Now click add. Now say you want to put these in separate zips for some reason. You have an option here, add each object to a separate archive. It's called batch archiving and you can't do this with a lot of archival programs, but that's just one cool little thing you can do with this besides setting the compression level that you can't do with all archival programs. Anyway, that's really all there is for this video, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next.